Shashi Krishnan Shetty is now with us. Sir, uh, thank you so much for taking our time for us. Uh, can you talk to us about the Q1, the MTO business that stood out? Which are the other segments that stand out for the year? Yeah, um, you know, I think uh, the I would say the performance of the company um, uh, has been quite remarkable in spite of the fact that uh, the market conditions are still uh, not so much in favor, particularly uh, in India on the on the um, uh, the capex uh, from the private sector is still not coming forward. Um, and uh, the container freight station business, as we all know, went through a disruption of DPD, and that is now stable, stabilized, and the volume have grown uh, quite a lot, uh, and in spite of the challenges. Um, and uh, the global shipping scenario uh, is still not encouraging because of the overcapacity, and that will correct by itself over the next few quarters. Um, so, uh, I am very happy to see uh, we have been able to turn around uh, uh, quite well in this particular quarter compared to the previous quarter. Uh, uh, the rest of the outlook for the coming year is, uh, one, uh, we likely to see the project and equipment business uh, going to uh, turn around, uh, uh, particularly keeping in mind the wind sector. Uh, which is reviving. Can you talk about the CFS segment, which is gaining some traction in, uh, you know, with Kolkata facility now just a few months, uh, you know, away? And how do you see JNPT uh, volumes record? Um, uh, you know, uh, the C like I said, the CFS business is uh, now on a very steady footing, and uh, all our freight stations are doing reasonably well. The last one is Calcutta. Uh, Calcutta, uh, we started only a few months ago and we already achieved uh, uh, beyond break even. Uh, so, you know, uh, we have a slight improvement possible in, uh, in our volumes in Chennai. Uh, JNPT, we achieved a record margin, uh, record volume of uh, over 15,000 containers uh, post uh, DPD. It is quite a remarkable uh, uh, volume that we have been able to achieve. Um, and uh, in terms of number, you know, it's hard to say. Uh, again, I think our target is to grow about 10% uh, in this financial year compared to the last financial year. And I think we will definitely achieve that. Um, um, so margin again there is, uh, uh, you know, quite uh, stable now because post DPD, the business, a lot of business are nominated by the end users uh, along with the shipping, shipping lines. Uh, and we have... Uh, uh, we have great relationship there and as well as um, we added a lot more new customers. So, so things are on a very stable footing and uh, we believe that uh, that business will stay in, in the right course going forward. Hi Shashi, this is Nantara joining you from the New Delhi studio. Now throw some color on the action plan that you have for improving your margins and uh, the profitability that you might expect in the second half of the financial year. Yeah, clearly we are not making any investment. There is no investment plan on this vertical, going uh, at least for the foreseeable future. That is very clear. And and the second uh, point is the EBITDA from the current uh, level, it can go up to 120 crore um, when the equipment gets utilized over 85 percent, and which is likely to happen in the uh, the quarter starting uh, the third and the fourth quarter onwards. That's how we see it. Shashi, you know, if we were to look back, there's no denying that last year was a challenging year. Uh, you know, and now we're starting at talking at the beginning of this financial year. Do you see growth in double digits? Uh, what can you give us throw some color on your kind of guidance that you have projected? And uh, how important is inorganic growth going to be? Yeah, absolutely. You know, our target is always to grow in double digit. Uh, and we, we demonstrated that uh, uh, over the last several years, except last financial year has been a drag. Uh, other than that, we continue, to, we always grown uh, in double digit. Uh, and as you know, the company is uh, very well positioned also to do certain acquisitions. Uh, consolidation of the industry uh, is something which is uh, possible 
uh, you know, we continue to look at good target companies where there is great synergy and look at value buying. Uh, so, uh, you know, those, as a matter of fact, will help us grow even faster. Um, so, yeah, to answer your question, yes, we, we will certainly look at double digit growth. Okay, Shashi, we're going to leave it at that. Thanks so much for joining us here on ET 